Welcome back to the Drivepedia today. We have something truly exceptional in the studio. Buckle up, because we're about to meet the last of a legend, the final edition of the stunning Bizzarini 5300 GT. Two years after it was first announced, the Bizzarini 5300 GT's run of Revival Edition models has come to an end, bowing out in a flurry of eyeball-soothing greenness. Ah, or rather, a flurry of Verb Bosco Venequattro having been color matched to a Concours winning original owned by an American collector, using the same process by which Bizzarini acquired the Rosso Corsa Red Dawn by the car that won its class at Le Mans in 1965. And let me tell you, the rumors are true. This shade of green is absolutely mesmerizing. They're calling it Verd Bizarro, and it perfectly complements the car's iconic curves. But before we rip the cover off this beauty, let's talk about the history behind the Bizzarini 5300 GT. The brainchild of Giotto Bizzarini, a former Ferrari engineer, the 5300 GT was born in the mid-1960s. This Italian stallion wasn't just about looks, though. Under the hood lies a powerful Chevrolet V8 engine, making it a true force to be reckoned with on the road. Only around 133 were ever produced, making them incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. But this one, folks, is something even more special. We need to remind you that the 5300 GT is powered by a 5.3 liter V8 developing over 400 horses, bringing a power to weight ratio that Bizzarini claims is comparable to a modern day supercar. The 5300 GT Corsa Revival was envisioned as a reintroduction of the Bizzarini brand to the elite tiers of the automotive world, said Simon Busby, Bizzarini CMO. Ever since we finished the first car 24 months ago, we've been working relentlessly to deliver authentic and perfect revival models to the world's most passionate car collectors. All right, that's enough history for now. Let's see this magnificent machine in all its glory. Whoa, that green is even more stunning in person. The way it reflects the light dot dot dot, it's like a liquid emerald. Look at these smooth flowing lines. The design is timeless, a true testament to Giorgetta Giugiaro's mastery. And check out the intricate details, the chrome accents, the pop-up headlights, pure Italian craftsmanship. As we reach the end of this chapter and ready for the next, this feels like another significant step in our journey. The demand for this car and the interest in our future plans is exactly the reaction we felt that the rebirth of the Bizzarini brand attached to one of the greatest automotive engineers and designers of all times deserved. Now, our attention shifts to the development of the Giotto, delivering a car that will be more than worthy to carry the revered name. Slide into the cockpit and you're met with pure luxury. The leather interior is a perfect shade of tan that complements the green perfectly. Everything feels handcrafted, designed for pure driving pleasure. Notice the classic gauges, the wooden steering wheel, dot, 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 dot. It's a driver-focused environment that screams vintage racing spirit. Owning this Bizzarini 5300 GT isn't just about driving a car. It's about owning a piece of automotive history. It's a symbol of Italian design excellence and a testament to the enduring legacy of Giotto Bizzarini. If you ever come across one of these rare beauties, consider yourself incredibly lucky. But for now, this is all the time we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Drypedia. Until next time, happy driving. Thank you for watching.